everyone, it's Doreen with Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. I'm here today to share with you a collage I'm working on. It's pretty late at night here and I just wanted to come on and just say hello to everyone in my group. Just wanted to do a shout out to my Crystals and Pearls Kit Club and I will have some kit reveals for you very soon. Let me share with you what I've worked on here. So this is just a little snippet of what I'm doing. I am working on a kit and of course it's pink. <laughs> no surprise there, right? I just have a little teardrop here with a pearl. And so yeah, I was just gonna show you guys what I did. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you the base that I used. So this is a white base card that I had that was embossed right here. And then I took the sponge sugar, this one, and I edged it all the way around and on top. So you have this raised edge here with a little bit of the sponge sugar color. The image from My Porch Prints, I loved the way that this distressing looked on the page, so I printed it out so that I could use it like a strip, okay? So it's about a two and a half inch strip here. So we're just gonna take that and rip it. I don't need this full image here. Let's see. Okay. I just want the edge up here to have a little bit of something there for a backdrop. I'm just using an old book page here. I'm redoing my room right now, so I've got everything everywhere. It's kind of driving me crazy, so I'm going to have to stop crafting just to clean it up. Are any of you guys working on your craft room right now? Okay. Put that in my little bin over there. Okay, so there we have this right here. Okay. And then we're going to just at our branch, which is this one right here. I hope I'm not bumping the camera, I keep doing that. So, what I do here is, um, first I just rip it out. So I'm just gonna do that, and then take off the edges here. You don't need all this extra stuff. See, that's the image right there. And then what you're gonna do is just take it and pinch it down. Try to get it as close as you can to the image that you are trying to, you know, put in there. That's my therapy, you guys. Love collaging. Looks like right there. And then we're just gonna glue it to the card. Take away a little bit off of that. So it sits on the branch, kind of. Kinda want it to sit, let's see, on the branch like that. And we'll just cut this part off. Okay, there's that right there. This beautiful paper right here. So let me make sure I got this the right way. Yeah, the lace is going this way. So I just draw the line here with the paper. And that's gonna be like a break of the white, you know, in between, okay? Let's see. Okay, see we're almost done collaging this. Just a few little um, things I wanna add. So I have this heart, I cut this out of 
a digital image and a punch and it's a pink brick wall so I wanted to go like right there it was a digital I used before and it was circles so what I did is I just cut it you know cut it here so I could have this rose right here so I'm just gonna take off a little bit here isn't that adorable? Love it. And then you just add your glue. And then, see, I'm going to show you that, if you can see that. And then I just take it and kind of move it around to where I want it. And then it becomes the right color that you want. Okay, and then all we need to do is collage these little pieces right here. So I'm gonna gather up my supplies and I'll be right back. See you in a few. All right guys, I'm back. And so here, I just gathered up a few of the little things that I wanna create my little collage with. My little fabric collage that I'm working on. We're going to use this to house our sparkle and then I'm just gonna decorate the bottom with this piece of paper. So I have this piece of paper here. It's just a piece of paper that I ripped out of the paper line that I'm using in this collection. And um, we're gonna go ahead and just glue this on. We're just gonna go ahead and add some glue to it. our foundation and then we're going to cut this off this is just a little piece off of a dress that I cut up this is one of my favorite dresses of all time that I found get that glue glob right there okay use that one for later so I kind of build a base right here and then I go back and fill it around so I'm going to use this tool right here but I'm gonna cut it really short well, like about right there I just want that piece right there so don't throw that away because we're going to use that later this in, cut this little piece off, and then what we're going to do is kind of tuck it in, in here, I want it to tuck in here, kind of like that. Kind of like you're building a flower. I don't know. Same thing with over here. You just kind of, this has got some stretch to it. So you just kind of pinch it, kind of make it into a fan. And then that will fit right in here with the glue. Possibly over here some too. I just wanted to kind of have that layered look. Maybe a little bit more glue here. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing to this piece of lace here. Just tuck a little glue in there. Pinch it. So it kind of has that fan look again. Tuck it in there. So it kind of looks like a scrunched flower a little bit. And then you just add the little appliques over the top. 
this is a piece of trim And I love adding these little elements to your projects because it gives it such pretty dimension there. You see that? Isn't that pretty? Let me cut this off. And then all we need to add is our little rhinestone piece right here. It's just some little vintage rhinestones on a string. It has this little string right here. So I like to add that into there. And then we'll just tuck it in like that. Gives it a little bit more sparkle. You see? Super cute, right? Just add a little something, something to it. So this will go down here. Let's see if I have a paper clip to show you. Let's just take the paper clip. So you don't want to permanently put it on there. It's just for decoration, but it also looks really cute there on the edge and then you have your cute little journaling card so this is great for tuck spots in your journals or writing your notes on the back you can write a note on that and you can just have it as a floating tuck spot really cute so here's the original one I know what I didn't do. Let me add this, because this really makes it at the corner here. So then you add this to the edge. I think I'm gonna cut that a little so it's not over the heart. just want a little piece there just to hold the sparkle on once it dries that piece of tool and you tie it around I love tying bows on these garment pins it just gives it a little cute touch so you can just add the little bow there and cut it off a little shorter and you get something like that. Let me show you here. And then you just pin it up in the little piece right there. And then you have a cute little display for your for your sparkle pieces. Let me show you also you could take this one. Let me put my glue bottle back together with the topper before my glue just explodes on me. Look what it did. <laughs> I forgot to put that back in. Oh, goodness. I put that back in now. Let that dry up a little bit. Let me show you this right here. So this is the teardrop one. So the reason I glued it is so that I could attach, if I wanted to attach something, I could attach it in here. And then it would hang down nice and neat. See? So you got this one here. Actually, you know what? It's coming loose from the paper clip. Let's see. This one's a little bit heavy, but 
you get the idea. And then it's removable, so you have this piece here, and you have this one here. Cute, right? Yeah, so you could even pin it on the side if you wanted to. You could take the paper clip, and you could use this in your journal, and you wouldn't have to attach the sparkle anywhere. You could just attach it with a paper clip. You might need a bigger paper clip, though. But this here. So, yeah. So that is the little journaling card that you could put in your journal. Um, let me just show you a few other little goodies that I've put together. So this is the picture frame that I put together. And I have the teardrop on there. I, ha I decided I think I was going to do the teardrop because it's heavier and it needed something. So I made the snippet to go on there. And then the sparkle goes on this one. So you have the picture frame. And then you also have a tag. This is from My Porch Prints. I took the large tag and I folded it here so that it fits inside and it's a great journaling spot. I love that. I love the color in this. So I have that. And then look at this, you guys. This is the beautiful piece I put together. It's not finished yet. I just finished the little dangle here at the bottom. And then we have this piece right here. I added some little sparkle trim there. Let me take this off. This is where the little tag goes inside. This is one of those paper bags. There's some sneaky peeks in there. And then this is the inside, which will be goodies inside as well. And this gorgeous piece right here. Look at this. So if you attach the frame in there, gotta lift it up a little bit. The frame holds it. It holds the frame in place like that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love how that came out. But there's gonna be a lot more items in this kit. There's gonna be laces and all kinds of yummy stuff. Here I took the picture frame with the square one in the back because I was playing around with the placement. So I haven't really come up with what I'm planning on doing, which piece will go where. As you can see, I've got different ones, but that's the back. This is the beautiful Craftsmart paper from Michaels in the Christmas section from last year. So this is the garden gate right here, and then on the cover I layered up some My Porch Prince tags and paper in the back here, the word Paris. I love all these little danglies and little bits of things, but like I said, this is going to be an interactive journal type packaging. So picture frame, postcard, oops, that's the postcard, and here's the little piece I made with the angel wings, a bow, and a rhinestone. And then some snippets because we love our little bits of snippets. So there's that one. There's a butterfly. There's some of that sequin trim. Some pink lace from a vintage dress. And then this piece of canvas right here. I have all of it completed. I just have to start packaging it up. And then it'll be ready to go out. It will have some papers in there and some journaling tuck spots. Like I said, all these little things can be used in the journal. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you learned something today. And if you're interested in um, subscribing to my channel, I'd love to have you. I would be back to share some other ideas with you. Have a great day. Bye.